Welcome to DIY with Herman James. I'm Herman James, and on today's episode, we'll be painting street numbers on my sidewalk curb. All right, everyone, like the intro said, on today's episode, we're going to be painting the street numbers on the sidewalk. Uh, I bought our house here I think about six years ago or so now, and since I bought the house, we've never had any street numbers actually painted on the curb. So I went on Amazon and I looked up a whole bunch of different ways to do the street number painting. You can get stencil kits anywhere from, I think it was like $8 all the way up to 75 plus. And it was either individual stencils you have to put together and you have to make your own frame for and work that way for it, or you could do like I did and I paid 20 bucks and had them make my own stencil for me so I can do my own street numbers. So I don't need to have all of the different numbers and letters and things that are just not useful. I wouldn't use any of them anyway. So why not just pay one amount once, get my address so that I have the right address at all times and don't have to worry about putting things in line. The only thing I had to worry about was how do I get the undercolor? Uh, to be down. So like the black background and the white letters. So I actually, because the wife had the idea for it, used the box it was shipped in to cut out a stencil. So what you can see here is I just took the box it was shipped in, butterfly it open, I laid the stencil in the middle of it, and then took my razor and just cut around the stencil. Now that it was done that way, I removed the stencil out of it, making sure not to cut the stencil, and then just put some tape around this. I'll use some paper on the sides of it here when I go to spray the black background. Again, this is just stuff I had left over. I, I happen to have them around there if you want to order them. or I think six bucks a can on Amazon or whatever your local hardware store or whatever charge you for those, you can get them all anywhere you're gonna go to. But for me, I have them. Hopefully I have enough, which I should. If not, then I'll cover all of them, do it again. But let's get out to the street and show you what I'm working with. So as you can see, I have no numbers for a street sign or for the curb numbers here. So I'm going to Take what I've got here. This typically is to clean off barbecues, but that can get any massive issues out of the way for it that'd be going on there. Then I'm gonna take my push room here, clean up anything else out of the way here, and now I'm going to just tape down the stencil and some newspaper. So Let's see what we can get done. And so that's it. That's everything you can see here. I've got obviously they didn't cut out the stencil for that one, so I'll overlay this on top of that one. It's done. A little bit of overspray because it's all wet paint, but for 20 bucks, it'll do. So, with a little bit of ingenuity and in moving the stencil over a little bit for the other ones and blocking off, it'll do. It's not perfect. It is not going to be perfect. Being my first time doing it, so I'm not upset about it, but. For 20 bucks and leftover cans of paint, I'm happy with what I got. So, if this is your first time watching uh, these videos or on the channel, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you think of it. Can't wait to be in your eyes and ears on your screens next time.